Hi everybody, once again, we are here together to help you out, to share with you a word of encouragement along with the Bishop Romualdo. How are you, Bishop? I'm fine. Thanks so much, Pastor. How are you? Good bless everybody. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Good bless. <laughs> Receive this bless whatever you may be. If you can, go ahead, share right now this link and let us help. Let us bless somebody. Just to remind you, at the end of this video, we're going to be praying for you. Prepare a glass of water right now. Hoje é o dia da vitória, bicho. Não tenho dúvida. Boa don't, palavra. Essa é boa. <laughs> it's a good word. Victory. Boa Today palavra. is the day of our victory. Que é o que todo mundo quer. Everybody wants to be victorious. E graças a Deus. And thank God. Que nós temos a vitória. That we have the victory. No Senhor Jesus. In our Lord Jesus Christ. Que é a porta. He is the door. O Senhor sabia? You know. Que Deus é objetivo. That God is straight to the point. Ele não demora para fazer uma coisa. doesn't take too long to do whatever he needs to do. Por isso ele quer. For this reason he wants. Que sejamos that we, objetivos. That we be straight to the point. E quem está no fundo do poço? That whoever is inside of the well, deep down, quer ser objetivo. They want to be, you know, receive the breakthrough right away. Ninguém aguenta ficar muito tempo no fundo do poço. Nobody can stay for too long going through a situation for a good while. Então quando está diante do Deus, so when we are before God, de uma forma objetiva, it is like straight to the point. Ela diz, me tira logo they daqui. They say like this to God, God, take me out of this situation. Please. Ninguém gosta de ficar muito tempo. Nobody wants to stay for too long. Com a porta fechada. With the door closed. Por isso que quem tem uma porta fechada, for the reason whoever has a closed door in their life, de uma life, forma objetiva, in a, in a straight, straight to the point. Ela diz o seguinte. They say like this. Meu Deus, abre de uma vez. My God, open this door once Essa and for porta. all. Open this door once and for all. Quantas pessoas How many people nós temos na Bíblia, Pastor Jorge, we have in the Bible, Pastor Jorge, que foram objetivas. That they went straight to the o point. O senhor lembra do leproso? Do you remember the leprous guy? Ele não contou a história. He, he didn't gave Jesus a long history. Porque quem está sofrendo não Because tem tempo para contar a história. Whoever suffers doesn't have a time to give a history. Ele diz, Jesus. He says, Jesus. Se queres pode me curar. If you are willing, you can heal me. O senhor sabe o que, que ele pediu? You know what he asked? God? Em outras palavras? In other words. Abra a porta da minha saúde. Open the door of my healing. Jesus na hora. Jesus right away. Não questionou nada. He didn't question him anything. Pastor Jordan. Pastor Jordan. Jesus não perguntou. Jesus didn't ask the man. Mas o que que você fez de errado? But what did you do wrong? Jesus não viu se ele merecia ou Jesus não merecia. Didn't see if he was worthy. Na hora. Or not. He... Jesus curou ele. At right there, Jesus healed him. Pastor, pastor, o cego contou a história. The, the blind man gave Jesus a long history. Não, não era. Ele foi direto. He went straight to the Ele point. foi objetivo. He went straight to the point. Senhor, he says, Lord, eu quero voltar I a ver. To see again. E Jesus disse: Você crê que eu posso fazer isso? Do you believe that I can do it for you? Você crê que eu posso abrir essa porta? I can open this door for you? E ele disse, eu creio. And then he Jesus says, falou, tá bom. Jesus says, okay. Seja feito conforme a sua fé. Let be done according to your faith. Ele passou a ver. He started seeing. Não demorou muito. It didn't take too long. Eu creio I believe que a gente tem que ser direto. A gente tem que ser, gente tem que ser objetivo. We have to be, you know, straight to the point. Tá doente? Are you sick? Não conta a história. Do not stay like, speak long history. Mas aceita. But accept. Que você tem direito à cura. That you have the right to be healed. Tá com a porta fechada? The door is closed for não, you. Não conta a história. Do not stay count like Passe history. pela porta Pass hoje through the door today e diga, and say, meu Deus, my God, em nome de Jesus, the name of abre Jesus, a porta open this door, e Deus vai fazer isso. And God's gonna do it. É assim que acontece. This is the way that things happen. A fé, the faith, como a gente tem falado, like we have been saying, é a chave is the key que abre essa porta. That open this door for you. Hoje é a quinta. Today is gonna be for the, the fourth. For? Yeah, for. Hoje é a quarta. Today is going to be the fourth. Vez, segunda-feira que você vai... É quarta mesmo, pastor? <risos> Olha, sério? Eu tenho que tomar um remédio <risos> para me lembrar. Porque eu... <risos> I forgot. <risos> I'm sorry. <risos> Como é que fala? Eu esqueci. I forgot. Olha que eu tô aqui toda segunda-feira. I am here every Monday. E até eu tenho passado pela porta. Claro. Claro. Of course. Claro. Of course. 
Porque eu quero que a porta se abra para mim. I want the door to be open for me. Para o meu amigo pastor. For my friend, pastor. E para você. And for you, my friend. Hum? Então, quando nós passamos so pela porta, pass the door, os obreiros passam pela porta, pass the door. todos nós aqui passamos here, pela porta pass the door. por você. For you, Porque o desejo da gente our é que você tenha our as portas abertas, seja da saúde, da maybe família, health, da prosperidade, o que você quer, você vai conseguir. Seu sonho será realizado. Porque agindo Deus, quem impedirá? É hoje à noite. Sete horas à noite. You are a very special guest to join us. And we believe, friends, something is going to happen. The door that is closed shall be open. We shall pray right now. We're going to pray right now. Ask God to bless the water. And we believe when you drink from this water, something is going to happen in your life. Bishop is going to speak a blessing this water and believe something is going to happen. Mi Dios, my God, in the name of Jesus, nosotros te pedimos we ask you right now que usted venga that you come and bless el agua this water que nosotros that we, tenemos. we have in our hands. Esta when these people bebe del agua, drink from this water, mi Dios, my God, in the name of Jesus, let your spirit estará con ella, be with this person, dando fuerza, giving strength, liberando, delivering, Sanando em nome do Pai, do Filho e do Espírito Santo. Amém. Amém. Go ahead, drink from this water right now and believe. Whatever you are, the Spirit of God right now is located you, is located your loved ones. Wow. You are blessed. You are blessed. Whatever you may be, you are. Blessed. Stay focused, stay strong, and don't, don't forget. Sunday, you're going to be passing this sanctuary. Esse próximo domingo vai ser o quarto domingo passando pelo santuário. E ontem uma multidão de pessoas estiveram aqui às 7h30, às 10 horas. Passando pelo santuário. Pelo santuário. In the sanctuary. They went e in domingo the sanctuary. agora, and this now, próximo domingo que vem, this Sunday, você tem a oportunidade. You have the opportunity. Ali, over there, nós cremos we believe que o seu sonho, that your dreams, como o de Zacarias, like Zacarias torna-se a is going to be real. real. Pode crer nisso. You must believe that. Believe and trust. And God's going to do the rest. God did something great in the life of Zacharias and Elizabeth. He's going to do something great in your life as well. Okay? Don't give up. Stay strong. Stay focused. And share this link right now with somebody. Let us bless somebody today. All right? God bless you. Stay in the faith. Because better days is yet to come for the glory of God. Ciao, ciao. My name is Audrey Morgan. I just want to share my experience in the Holy Land. Prior to coming to the Holy Land, it was a, a big struggle for me, especially in finance. And I had such a struggle, you know, getting here. But I always want to experience the Holy Land from ever long time. But God made it possible for me to come here so that my spiritual life could be revealed more. I'm telling you the different sites that we, we visited, the Mount Carmel, I telling you, my God really had the move on my hand. Even to when we went to the Garden of Gethsemane, well, I'm telling you, that was a great experience for me. My spiritual life was really renewed there. And also we went to the tomb of where Jesus was laid. In that tomb, you can feel the anointing of God right there. I'm telling you, people, anyone that is really interested in coming to the Holy Land should really, really pray and ask God for their guidance here because this is fulfilling your spiritual life. It's fulfilling your emotional life. It's really bringing the Bible alive to you. Trust me. And I'm encouraging people, whoever is coming to the Holy Land, come and experience the powerful move of God's hands here. Amen.
You know, trust is a huge, huge factor in any relationship. For any relationship to work out and to be strong, there's got to be a base of trust. The Word of God says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all of your ways, acknowledge Him, and He shall direct your path. When we fully trust God, when we fully put our trust, our all, in trusting God, what we're telling God is, God, I believe that you can take care of what I can't take care of. You know, there are times in our lives that we face situations, we face storms. And the very first thing that comes is our own understanding on how to resolve that situation, how to fix that situation. But if we're honest with ourselves, how many times have we tried to fix something and we only made it worse? When the Word of God says, trust in Him, He knows what He's talking about. Those who trust in the Lord will never, ever, ever be put to shame. So whatever it is that you're going through, whatever storm you may be in right now, trust in God. Put your full trust in God and you're going to see what God will do through that situation in Jesus' name.